Today, I am embarking on a project that I have never attempted anything like this before. I am attempting to build my own coffee table. Um, in recent months, the coffee table has basically become the center of activity of our home uh, because my husband has to sit at our little breakfast bar area, so we don't really eat there anymore. All of his computers are there for work due to work from home from coronavirus. So uh, that's kind of given us the only area to eat in our very small apartment is at the coffee table. And the coffee table that we have right now absolutely sucks. So here's the coffee table. This is the Lunarp from uh, Ikea. And I don't recommend that you get this whatsoever at all because it is wobbly AF. Wobble, wobble, okay? And um, it's not great. It's Now you're probably wondering, why can't I just go buy a new coffee table? And I could, but I couldn't find any that really fit our needs. Um, I don't want to buy anything from Ikea ever again. I'm over Ikea. I have aged out of Ikea. I am now officially an adult. And I just didn't find anything at any of the furniture stores that we went to that was number one, uh, small enough to fit in our space. Everything was very large and we have a very small apartment. And two, everything was like $500. So I think on the spectrum between the $50 piece of junk from Ikea and a $500, you know, super bougie coffee table from Living Spaces, I think I can make something in between there that's custom built to what we need in our specifications and um, pretty and cool and fits in our space. So that's kind of my goal. Let me show you my design. So this is my drawing that I did of kind of the size that we wanted. So we wanted pretty much the same size as this Lunarp table. It's a great size. Um, but the ones I saw at the furniture store that were really cool were ones that had this kind of cantilever section that comes up to the height where you can eat on it since we do a lot of our eating here on the couch because of our breakfast bar being occupied at the moment and we want something with a little storage so right now we have this under shelf which used to have kind of books on it that I've moved to the bookshelf and I want to have a place where I can hide some things inside and kind of have some nice storage in there um, and then I got these really cool little hairpin legs for it too. So um, this is my design and I'm pretty excited about it. So that's my project. It's pretty ambitious. It's definitely more ambitious than any other building project that I've ever tried before, but I have some faith and I'm going to do what I always do when I need help with a project. And that is... Doesn't look great. I call my dad. My dad is Hi, real. I'm Sierra's dad. He's my dad. He's a real renaissance man. He knows how to do everything. Saving butterflies, playing music, building coffee tables. He can do it all. So he is going to help me build my coffee table today. that into account when making precision cuts. Yeah, okay. See? Makes sense. See? So we want the curve. This is where we want we want it we want all of this material from this side, see? But the curve of the saw blade will will take out there. The middle. Okay. See, you get it? Yeah, yeah. See so So you want to you account wanna measure for to that. The, you want to measure 12 and 3 16 to the outside.
with refreshments for us. What are those? Lime, no, raspberry, lime, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, okay. Can't Raspberry wait. lime. It's day one. We're gonna need this. Complete. We cut all of the pieces. It's ready to assemble. All right. We have a decent box done. According to my design here, we're cutting a couple more pieces. Maestro. Here now. <laughs> here it is. After some uh, adjusting last week that we figured out, it's a little bit different than my original design, but I think this design is honestly better. Um, this side is the cantilever side that comes up, and then this side is the storage side. And it looks really nice. Now I'm getting ready to paint it and then I'll eventually cover it with this stuff. Let's see it in action. Wow. There's the legs, which we'll put on later. We're sanding it. Well, my dad's sanding it right now to make sure everything's nice and even. Maybe that's the only place where I need it filled. Right there. Everything else is pretty tight. Yay! Okay, now it's time to paint. Almost. I have to wait. I'm just filming for my tech rags. It's got the final layer. Shake it up. And I'm going to finish painting it and we're going to assemble it and then I think today we'll be finished which is really exciting. My project coming to fruition. So here it is pretty much all painted. I think it looks good. You can see how we, well my dad put it together with the pocket holes. It looks so nice, nice and white. Nicely smooth. Now we just have to put the top on and the legs on.
did finish it and I finished the interior side so it's nice and covered with the great hinges that we got. And I got my yoga mat in there, my yoga stuff. It's nice and loud click. And then here you can see how we like to hang out. And it's been perfect. I think we've had this for a couple of months now. Just uh, living with it and it's been great. Lots of storage for extra things. Maybe don't look so much in there because there's random stuff in there, but it's great to have a hiding spot now. And yeah, thanks dad for helping me build this and it came out exactly how I wanted.